Hi folks, Yachtsman1 here again. This time we're on tutorial 6 which covers adding audio to a basic slideshow for beginners. Audio is 50% of the enjoyment your viewers will get from seeing your slideshows. In the old days of silent movies they even had a play piano player to enhance the shows and build up the tension in the audience. Audio is a very important part of audio visual. Right, there are two basic ways to add audio to your slideshow. You can start from the beginning, which is the first slide, using project options and that will add a soundtrack if it's long enough to the full length of your show. I'll just uh, demonstrate that. In project options you've got the audio tab there and you'll notice in this one there are three soundtracks highlighted. This one here I put in on a previous test of this show I was having trouble with the microphone so I'll just delete that one. These are the two working audio files for this particular show. If you want to add a soundtrack you should have that placed in your project file along with your pictures so you should have your sound files in there. Now there are quite a few different types of sound file. The one I use 90% of the time is an mp3 file because they're the smallest file that you can get a decent sound from. There are others such as WAV files, WAV, those are usually 10 times the size of an mp3 and will increase the size of the overall show. Usually I get my WAV files from sound effects and such like which they seem to store them in WAV because they are a better quality than MP3. Right, so we want to add an audio file to the start of the show. So we click audio file, that's opened the project folder and here you can see four different MP3 files. This one here is the biggest one, it's 4.86 megabytes and it's 5.5 minutes 18 seconds long. You can get the details off it, just hover your mouse over the top of it. And I this into Audacity, so it's meant Audacity is the, one of the sound editing programs that I use. Because it's been created in Audacity, it's got Audacity version 17 at the front of it. And it's called, What Are You Going To Do When You Are Not Saving The World? And that's from the latest Superman movie. So I'm going to put that into the show on the first slide. So we highlight it, left click it, and click open. There you see it in the list of audio files for this particular show. I don't want that to stay there so I'll now remove it. So to remove one just highlight it like that and left click and it's gone. Right we'll close that down. Now say you wanted to add a voiceover to a particular slide like say that one where you've got Huntsman and the Hounds you might want to add some sound effects or a comment, an audio comment telling your viewers what to, what's actually going on in that slide. So to, sa to add sound to that slide, go into slide options. Down on the middle here you've got add audio file. So click on that and again it's opened the project folder where all my sound files are stored. All my sound files for this particular show are stored. So I'm going to click on a small one now which is part of this particular show. Click open. Now you've got it in the box there. When you open slide options you see URL in that box it means you've got an audio file there. I'll just remove that and I think that's about enough to take in for this particular session. So I'll click on OK 
and we'll end it in the usual manner, the closing credits. This is Superman 2.